Hey guys, and welcome to another video. In my previous video uh, regarding coolant issues, I had found that my main tank was overfilled and my coolant tank, my intercooler coolant tank, expansion tank, was filled with what appeared to be the wrong type of coolant. And if you saw that video, you may know that I took the car in to the dealer and they had flushed the both tanks and replenished them. Well, a week after I uh, replenished the tanks, after I flushed the, the coolant, I checked my coolant levels and they were fine. They had done the bleeding because inside the air conditioning was set to 28 degrees, like the max heat. And uh, you know, there's no need to, there was no need for the AC to be at that setting except to perform the bleeding procedure. Um, but then uh, maybe a couple of months later, I checked my coolant levels again and the intercooler coolant was fine, but the uh, engine coolant the expansion tank was below minimum. So I went to the dealer and I got myself coolant. This is the blue coolant, BMW Lifetime Coolant 87. And uh, what I'm gonna do today is uh, top up my engine coolant. Here's a quick view of the part number. Hopefully you guys can see it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna top up my engine coolant and uh, hopefully this video will help some of you that need to do the same. Now the first thing I noticed is that I do seem to have some kind of white residue or something next to the coolant tank. This, this wasn't there before, so most likely I suspect that I have, uh, that some coolant has managed to leak past this cap, which is the very well known issue when it comes to this engine. Okay, let's start opening it up. You guys can see it but it was between the maximum and the minimum and now and now it is below the minimum whereas the intercooler expansion tank is at the exact perfect level. Okay. I have my measuring cup here and a funnel. I guess I can just put the funnel straight in there. And my measuring cup, I'll just put it here. Let's uh, open the bottle. So it's pressed down. And turn. So I'll start with 150 of the coolant and I'll pour in 150 ml water. Distilled water of course. what BMW requires. I should mention that the, uh, the dealer gave me the coolant for free, but also, as I may have mentioned in my previous video, the first thing they said to me, their first reaction was, just top it off with distilled water. We don't really know that it's the water part of it that's been evaporating, so, best way is to top it up with the proper stuff which is 50-50. So I ended up pouring in about 150 milliliters so maybe a little bit more but it wasn't so bad and now it's exactly where it needs to be between just below the maximum between the maximum and the minimum. I think, uh, seeing as I have some fluid left and the intercooler tank seems to be... Hmm. 
might just put the rest of it into the intercooler tank or top that one off a little bit too. Well, it has started to rain as I've started making this video and it's dripping water right on top of me. So I'm gonna cut this short. I hope this helped. All that remains for me to do is to put back the caps and uh, that's what I'll do and then just close the hood. This one clicks. And actually, since they flush the tank, it, they definitely turn smoother than they did before. So perhaps there was some residue from the evaporating water, some mineral residue, although they shouldn't have been any if this is distilled water. Anyway, that's done. Thanks guys. See you in the next one.